Today's design sponge video is brought to you by Home Goods. Visit www.homegoods.com to find a store near you. Hi, I'm Grace from Design Sponge, and today I'm going to show you how to use sun prints to create a custom cork board and tray for your home. Botanicals and plant related imagery have always been big in the world of home decor, but they've recently experienced a resurgence. Frame botanical prints and antique floral charts are great ways to get the look, but if you're looking to keep the budget even lower, using sun prints is a fun alternative. You're probably familiar with sun prints in paper form, but sun prints also come in fabric form that you can buy on the internet. I bought a couple yards at bluesunprints.com and today I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating your own sun print and then turning that into a custom cork board and tray for your house. It'll be me. So the first step of the project is to actually make the sun prints. All you need is your sun print fabric and some things you'd like to lay on top. Before you add your leaves, be sure to iron your fabric first. Any wrinkles or creases will come up as discolorations when you're finished. Be sure to iron quickly and as far away from a light source as possible. The longer your fabric is exposed, the sooner it will start to change colors. Once your fabric is ironed, you're good to go. If you're working with leaves, try flattening them between book pages for a few days to get a more precise final print. Lay your print in direct sunlight for 10 to 30 minutes. The longer you leave it out, the darker the final color will be. When your prints are ready to be processed, simply rinse them in the sink until the water runs clear. Once you've rinsed your prints, you can wash them in phosphate-free soap if you'd like. Then throw them in the dryer, iron them smooth, and you're ready for the next step. For your sun print cork board, all you'll need is a frame, the back of your frame, and then a thin roll of cork drawer liner. I picked mine up at the hardware store for about $5, and I found a frame at my local flea market for a dollar. I repainted it white, kept the back, and saved the glass for a project later. Once you've assembled your materials for the cork board, the first step is to cut the cork drawer liner paper to fit the back of your frame. Once you've got your cork cut to size, you can remove the contact paper lining on the back and adhere it to the back of your frame. If you have a cork liner that doesn't have an adhesive back, you can just use glue and that'll work just as well. Once you have your cork layer adhered and cut to size, the next step is to add your sun print on top. To prevent any sort of bunching or wrinkles on the front of your cork board, you can either use a staple gun to attach the edges to the back of the frame, or use a light coating of glue on the back of the sun print to attach it to the cork. Once your sun print is firmly attached to the cork, slide the back of the frame into place and secure with the supplied metal tabs. Just flip your frame over and you're ready to attach it to the wall. For this project, I decided to try a sun print using leftover doilies from our wedding, but almost any flat material will work. So be creative and try new prints using objects that are special to you. Also, be sure to use shorter thumbtacks for this board, as the cork isn't as deep as a traditional cork board. For today's second sun print project, all you'll need is your fabric sun print, a small tray, a bottle of fabric mod podge, and a brush. Step one for the tray project is to apply a thin coat of mod podge to the inside of your tray. Next, cut your print to fit your tray and lay it carefully on top, smoothing out the surface with your fingers to eliminate any air bubbles or creases. You can either fit your fabric to come right to the edges of your tray or let it hang over a little bit. If you allow for extra fabric, simply paint over it with the Mod Podge to adhere the edges to the back of the tray. Once you've done that, coat the entire front side of the fabric and tray with a coat of Mod Podge. It might get a little messy, but it'll be worth the effort. And don't worry if it looks white, the glue will dry completely clear. Once the entire piece is coated, let your tray dry in the sun for a few hours. Be sure to place it on a sheet of plastic or wax paper so it doesn't stick to your drying surface. After a few hours in the sun, your tray should be good to go. If you've got a little bit of excess fabric around the edges, feel free to go back and cut it off, or grab some more Mod Podge and just finish it off on the back. Now you're ready to fill it with your favorite accessories, jewelry, keys, whatever you need. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll give these sun prints a shot in your home. They're a fun and easy way to bring botanical prints into your home without spending too much money. To find more do-it-yourself ideas, visit www.designspongeonline.com.